How's it going guys? My name is Demise and this is going to be my 1.2 gameplay trailer analysis. So to start off, we see the player in control of what appears to be a mummy, which is interesting because there appears to be no buff active, which is different from what we've seen before with the werewolf and merfolk potions where you transform into another species for a limited time. Now here we can see a group of players entering a pyramid and as you can see, it is now possible to place torches on the back wall instead of just blocks, which is really, really awesome. Next up, we have a new enemy called the Spiked Ice Slime, along with plenty of new ice tools, so let's just slow this down a little bit, and we can see that he is using an ice blade, ice torch, and a new platinum pickaxe, which sounds pretty cool. Here we see a new pet, which will appear throughout this video, and seems to be a flying velociraptor, which is just awesome, and next up here on the right side, we have an ocean-themed looking chest underwater, along with some coral... And over on the left side, we see a lot of new furniture, as well as a new painting and a fancy pot with a sun floating over it, which appears to be some sort of altar of some kind, which could possibly change day and night cycles, which would really help with finding some bosses, as you can only spawn them at night. At our next stop, we can see a lot of new furniture and fancy decorations, including a painting of the Eye of Cthulhu over on the far right, but take notice of the mechanical device right here, as this is what is powering this awesome new elevator system. Now at our final stop, and at the very top of this very impressive treehouse, is what appears to be a collection of almost all the armors in the game, including some new ones, as well as cool new decorative badges for each of the different bosses in the game. So let's begin from the top left, where we can see two armors that could be logically assumed to come from the Plantera boss in the jungle, along with possibly another boss that could also be found there. Now just to the right of these is another new armor, which is a cute looking little bee armor that will come from the Queen Bee, which we'll see later in this video. Over on the far right, we have what appears to be the adamantite armor near the top, as well as both versions of the cobalt armor, and the good old molten armor on the bottom left. On the bottom right, there is a new armor which could possibly come from somewhere in the crimson biome, or from resources of the new Brain of Cthulhu boss, which was also revealed later on in this video. Next up, we have a couple of really quick clips, which if we slow down, appear to be of this new tool called the Clentaminator, which can apparently instantaneously change the biome type of any area, which is really, really awesome and will help a lot against the corruption, or if you have a fa certain favorite biome that you can just spread across your world. Now, before we completely transition into the next clip, let's take notice of this chair throne, because this item, along with the intricacy of the pumps of lava that we can see, leads me to believe that this is user-created and not naturally spawning or world-generated, although it does seem fitting for the entrance of the Crimson Biome that I believe we will see later on in this trailer. Next, we are in what appears to be the newly redesigned dungeon that looks fantastic, and we are in control of what turns out to be a minion or a helpful NPC of some sort that is using a crazy sniper rifle that shoots homing bullets, and if you can see in the hotbar there, there is quite an arsenal of new weapons that look quite menacing. In the next clip, we have another equally as impressive new weapon that appears to be mana-based and is called the Shadow Beam Staff, which can shoot off rapid spells that ricochet around the walls quite a bit, and we can also see some new enemies, as well as the Frost Hydra up at the top, which is a summonable minion of sorts. In this clip, there isn't much to see other than the up-close shot of what the new Velociraptor dinosaur pet looks like when it's stationary, but other than that, there isn't not much else to see, so let's move on. Here we can see some underground ice biome battling going on against an enemy which, as we can see, is oddly named the Floaty Gross, which seems to have a variation in this next clip in what appears to be the Crimson Biome, which was a spoiler from the Steam trading cards a while back, and we can also get to see the Golden Shower spell in action. Next up, we have quite a significant spoiler with a brand new boss, or at least possibly a mini boss, as he only appears to have 1000 health points, but that is most likely due to balance testing and will not be final. But along with this new boss, we can also see this hotbar filled once again with awesome new weapons. Next, we have another impressive weapon called Vampire Knives that looks quite devastating, but if we look to the left in the house, we can also see some invading scythe-wielding ghosts, as well as multicolored chests and a pink anvil, as well as the mechanical device that is being used for the elevator system of this home. And here we have the elevator system in action once again being used on a very artistic and symbolic looking home as you can clearly see in the minimap as it is half evil and half good. In this clip we go back to one of the first new biomes that was spoiled and see some new wings and armor battling it out against giant beetles and tortoises. Here we are introduced to the Queen Bee boss that I mentioned earlier in this video and looks quite dangerous but we also get some confetti gun action before we see the final boss spoiler of this video, which is the Plantera boss that looks fantastic and moves around quite fluidly, 
And speaking of fluids, we have a new invasion event type, which are invading pirates, which looks quite fun. And as you can see, we also have a new piranha gun and Uzi that we can look forward to using on our enemies. Also, I just realized that I forgot to mention the Golden Hearts and new max life of 500 health that can be seen throughout this video and appears to be the result of a potion of sorts that allows for the extra life as you don't actually have any new hearts that represent the extra 100 life. So yeah, if you guys think I missed something important, go ahead and leave it in the comment below and don't forget to rate the video and subscribe if you want to see future videos as I will be covering the 1.2 update thoroughly and have numerous videos. So yeah, have a nice day.